Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a story that I read some time ago, but I wanted to talk about it a little bit more. And it was a Magic the Gathering employee. I don't know if he was a Wizard of Coast employee, a Hasbro employee, or just an employee at the printer. But imagine like a, a dude at a printer, like a young dude at a printer, and they're printing these valuable Magic cards. In a very short period of time, he stole $45,000 of Magic cards. And I think he returned, that's, that's what he returned, but they said that he stole like 50,000 um, and he didn't return all of them. And out of only 197 cards, so we're looking at an average price of $250 a card. So the cards he was stealing were probably Judge promos or, I have no idea what he was stealing. But um, they didn't notice for some time, and the guy stole all that ma all those magic cards. And I guess they linked to his email. He must have been selling them somehow. And it was a very good run for him. So when you look at it from that standpoint, magic is a lot about printing money. And the reason I'm talking about printing money right now is because Expedition. Imagine you work at Wizards of the Coast, and you're printing Expedition cards. And all you need to do is take... I don't know, a sheet of uh, tons, like let's say there's a hundred one, or let's say there's a hundred, I'm just making these numbers up. Uh, let's say a hundred of them, you just need to take that hundred and let's assume it's 500 bucks a piece and you made $50,000. So magic is a printing press of monies. And that's, this is, when I read the example, I didn't think about it until like now, that which is a coast is just printing money out. So if you worked at, you know, the place of printing and you were able to, you know, take cards and pocket them, you could make out really well because I'm pretty sure those uh, foil art, foil, foil art lands, they're even like, I mean, their title is even long. They got to be called something else. And they are valuable and they can be, you know, instantly I would pay, like if someone had one and they wanted to trade it, I would definitely trade over trade for it. I have no problem always trading for something I want, and I really do want them. So Magic the Gathering has become a, or Wizard of Coast, or whoever's printing these, has really become a printing press of money. And Expedition, I'll just call them Expedition. Uh, it is a very clear example to me of where Magic is going to head soon, where, why wouldn't they head this way? Where they can print the Omega Mythic, right? and then sell packs and sell boxes and still not really have to. So the problem with Priceless Treasure was they had to buy these cards. So they had to buy a Black Lotus from someone. They had to pay retail for a Black Lotus for the card they printed and then make and sold for probably like way less back then and to put it in these packs. But why do that when you can just print, you know, a, a copy of a card and have it be 500 bucks? So we are entering a new era of magic cards. Uh, we definitely are. Um, Wizard of the Coast has realized that they can print money. And for whatever reason, it took them this long to realize this, but Expedition is exactly that. And when I read that at, you know, on, I think it was Kotaku about the guy who was stealing $45,000 in magic cards, and he only stole 200 cards, I was like, huh. And he sold them for, 40. so it wasn't like, oh, the retail value is 4,500. I'm assuming the retail value was higher than he sold them for, because he sold them at such a high volume. It was a very short period of time, so he wasn't working there for like 10 years or something. It was, I, you gotta read the article. Hopefully someone can link the article, or you can just use Google and say Magic employee steals $45,000 of cards, and it should pop up just right like that. Anyway, interesting story, um, I just, it just reminded me of uh, Magic being kind of a printing press of money right now. And you can say that's good or you can say that's bad. I, I don't know. Time will tell. Bye, guys.